All right, this is the moment that every mixed martial arts athlete hopes will materialize. The number one heavyweight contender making the walk for his first title fight here in the UFC. I mean, the nerves are going crazy for this man right now. He's so nervous. Has he done everything he needs to do? Has he not left any stone unturned? He says that he has prepared. He says that his body's ready. His mind's ready. He feels physically good in the spot. He's taking on a long-rated champion. If he's going to get this done, it's going to take something truly special. He does not believe jitters will be a factor here tonight. He has built his career methodically to this point. We'll see if we hear the words and new by night ten. respect and appreciation as we have for the skill sets of the lower weight class athletes. There is nothing in pro sports quite like a UFC heavyweight championship fight. That is a reality. You've been there. You've done that. Baddest man on the planet putting that very distinction on the line tonight. Yeah, the champ walks again, and he wears that proudly. Johnny wants to be called the champ. He loves to be called the baddest man on the planet. He is so skilled. He's so dangerous. He's so scary. And he gets up for these types of challenges. He intends to never let go of his belt. He understands the challenge in front of him here tonight, but he has been forged by this training camp, the championship experience he has accrued. And we'll see if he can lead the way he enters as the greatest heavyweight in the world. All right, all the hype gives way to the action here. Both fighters have now touched down on the canvas, and we are ready to go from the mecca, Madison Square Garden, here in New York, New York. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Now to get a start of the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Assassin. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. The Korean Superboy, Do Ho Choi. Herb Dean, our referee for this round. All right, round one underway. This man is all the rage. The Korean Superboy, Do Ho Choi. Very difficult challenge for the opponent here tonight. This is an outstanding first round fighter. Outstanding fighter overall. But the fight time of the UFC, not a lot, because more often than not, he gets the opponent out of there in round one. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Oh, defense into offense, shot blocked. Counter hook is good. Was able to get that one blocked. Oh, nice hook. Nice shot there by the champ. Pace here in the early going. Circling towards the left. Now he's starting to find his groove with the counter strikes. This is his bread and butter to keep his opponent at bay and keep him guessing. And when his opponent over engages, make him pay with a straight right hand, straight left, or a jab. Nicely done with the hands there. Oh, misses with the jab. 
Nice counter right hand lands for him. Just over three minutes to go round one. Counters with a straight right hand. That'll work. They're so evenly matched, and they're going tit for tat. Oh, and he lands another pinpoint counter. He has done an excellent job seemingly all night, remaining patient, waiting for his opponent to strike first, and timing his counters perfectly. Oh, great block there. Korean Superboy gets touched by that kick to the body. Throwing that jab now again, the fighter evades. Oh, body kick attempt here, it's no good. Two minutes to go. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Counter punch is good by the Korean Superboy. You wonder if the offensive fighter is going to start to get frustrated here. Most stiffed on all of these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best pick fighters in the UFC. Oh, man. Oh, effective use of the jab by Choi. Yet another huge kick lands. Oh, that right hand barely missed there. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. You didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following a game plan. Right hook to the head block. Well, he's certainly keeping busy, DC, connecting with most of the punches he's throwing. I mean, punches in bunches. He's doing a great job. Right hook there. 45 seconds to go here in round one. Tries the flying knee to no avail. 30 seconds now to go in round one. Oh, straight punch. Let that one. 15 seconds to go. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, so a crowd-pleasing five minutes in the books. DC, take us through some of the highlights, man. Punch after punch landed right on his opponent's face. Did a great job of finding his target, locking in, and then getting, the, getting his fist to the target in that round. Ready to fight? Ready. Go. Here we are, early round two. Landed a beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. Oh, flush knee to the body. He's got the length advantage in this fight and certainly made it count in that exchange. That's good defense to block that punch. Throwing that jab, no good. Oh, he tagged him with the jab on the counter. Oh! Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything up. Oh, 
nice jab there by the Korean Super Bowl. And it lands another knee there, DC. It doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it most certainly did. Going to the body now with that hook shot. Nicely done by Choi. Oh, man, that left side is getting beat up now. Look at the redness there. There's that body shot. And follows up with another one. He's found his range. Now he's in a rhythm, landing those nice, beautiful punches. Nice straight right lands. It's the elbow there. Three minutes and change to go in round two. Oh, back and forth we go. Well, as my favorite rap group Onyx would say, stick and move, right? Huh. Beautiful slip off the center line there. Yeah, what a great job of moving his head. It doesn't take much to avoid a punch. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the ladder round. Oh, big left hand there. Put your hands up higher. Come on. Well, eventually you know he's going to turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on the defensive end this fall. They talk about the feeling out process. He's getting his opponent's timing. Now he's blocking everything. Expect counters as we go forward. Oh, Superman punch. Hands up, hands Just over two minutes now to go in the round. Head kick, that's a miss. Come on, man, I need more punches. Let's go. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Come on now. Let's move. Let's make it work. Uppercut there blocked by the Korean Super Bowl. Nice punch to the head. Four strikes to the head. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Oh, nice kick. Well, he's had next to no answers for the body shots here tonight, and now some redness really starting to develop on that side. We're starting to see the damage. We're starting to visibly see the effect that all these body strikes are taking on this guy. He's got to do something different, and he's got to be very careful to conflict for his opponent to go over the top now that he set him up. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. 45 seconds remain in the round. Oh, well done moving the head there to slip that left hand. 30 seconds to go in the round. Oh, nice takedown defense. Now some spacing as they exit the clinch. All right, so it looks like some bruising on that thigh right now. He hasn't really done anything to address that weapon from his opponent. He's got to check some kicks. I know right now it may not be that damaging, but down the line, you're going to really pay for it if you don't address it right now. Shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. All right, you're doing great, okay? I want more of the same. You are controlling the entire fight. Stay sharp, don't get relaxed. So, wherever we're at, we're still. All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, really. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. Ready to fight? Ready. All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. All right, next round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high-level mixed martial arts. And that's, that's the danger. 
in the engagement there. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. And just misses with that big right hand. Hands higher, hands higher. Well, the most significant stat in this fight has been body strikes, and at times in the past, maybe you could say he's been a headhunter, but tonight he has worked the body to great effect, and those are really starting to take their toll. He's able to slip the left there. Well, really playing to that length when he landed that punch. Oh, man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking all these shots coming man, this way. get that out of here. He sees it coming. You're going to have to mix it up. Shake that finger. Shake that finger. Cliff's on the elbow. Nice crack there. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here and just continues to punish his opponent's body here in this round, just like he did in the previous one. Slips the punch. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Oh, doing work with the jab. Flips the punch nicely there. Just out of range with that right hand. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. And we have passed the midpoint of the fight. Both fighters throwing heat now. Oh, buckled him there. Beautiful shot to the body. It's a clean punch. Bleeding now. Nasty cut on his nose. Nice block. Right hook attempt. That's a miss. Nice power there with the left hook upstairs. Keeping busy now, connecting with those punches. Let me see that hook now. Nice kick landed there by Choi. The issue with that kick, as effective as it is, one gets checked, you have the Anderson Silva situation. All right, so we'll see what sort of defensive response ensues here. He's taken a lot of shots upstairs, and the swelling is there to prove it. Got to keep those hands up. He might want to employ a high guard to try to ensure that the guy's not landing on those spots because the swelling's starting now, and it's light. But if he takes many more of these types of shots, it's going to get real bad. Well, this is absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured, but I think both fighters have been really affected with their strikes in this one. Yeah, both guys have been affected. Both guys have been beat up. It's a very competitive fight. Let's see who has the heart to carry them through these very tough moments. Back and forth we go. Well, I think I can smell the blood at this point in time. That canvas didn't look like that a few fights ago. Blood is flowing from that cut with every passing strike. Every strike. And it burns. John, it burns so bad. When you get cut like that, every time a shot lands, it just burns. So this guy needs to try to find a way to not take and limit the damage he's taking from his cut. Easier said than done, though. Throws that team. Final seconds of round three. All right, three rounds down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship round. All right, there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool. Cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But, of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up.
All right, well, I'm no doctor. I'm not going to diagnose a broken nose, but a huge cut on the bridge, and his opponent continues to attack it. Continues to attack it as he should. He did the damage. He was the one that landed the shot that opened up that cut. Now he's got to make his opponent pay for it. Ready, he's a bit lax in the defense, Ready. and now he's got that massive cut on the bridge of his nose. All right, so here we go. Fourth round is underway. What is the fighter's mentality when you enter those championship rounds? You understand that you are getting close now. The night is almost over. The goal is within reach now. 15 minutes down, 10 to go. You tell yourself you can do anything for 10 minutes. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high. relentless effort out of this fighter here tonight. The ref had no choice but to step in, and that is how you leave the judges out of it. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, six seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by TKO and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the Korean Super Bowl, Duho Chong. So the Korean Superboy Do Ho Choi